Uno, dos, one, two, tres, cuatro. Son dos llantos distintos Los que me has hecho llorar Son dos llantos muy distintos Son muy distintos y en verdad Amargas lágrimas por tu maldad Lloré sabiendo me ibas a dejar Logrando así sangrar Oh sí, logrado de cosas Son dos llantos distintos, los que me has hecho llorar. Son dos llantos muy distintos, son muy distintos y en verdad. Hoy lloro pero de felicidad, al ver que al fin has pagado tu mal, lograron destrozar, oh sí. Chica 
dulce bien, que bien sabes que te espero y yo nunca, nunca jamás te olvidaré. Al besar siento yo que te entrego toda el alma porque es tuya y tuya será hasta el final. Tu hermosura es como una rosa que me hace sentir locamente de pasión. Mi bien vuelve a mí dulce amor que bien sabes que te espero pues yo nunca nunca jamás
Stopping entrant. Spring is arriving in New Zealand, and things were never brighter there. But scores of international beauties have to bow to Carol Joan Crawford, named for the movie star and proud of it. Carol represents the island of Jamaica, and she's as refreshing as a Caribbean breeze. She is 20 years old and is only 5 feet 3 inches tall. Doesn't that convince you that good things come in small packages? The cream of the world's beauties, each one the pick of her country, contested at the Lyceum the title Miss World. They numbered 40. The nine judges included Peter Sellers and the Marchioness of Tavistock. Elsa Ernstink represented Holland. 23-year-old Gina Onyeyaka is Miss Nigeria. Miss France, Muguet Fabry. Michelle Matrinko from New York speaks Spanish and Russian. She hopes to be a diplomat. Another judge, Sir Leary Constantine. Miss United Kingdom is Diane Westbury of Ilkston. <laughs> Elaine Miskol comes from New Zealand. She's a fashion model, eventually placed second. And now Miss Jamaica. 
She's a model and a great favourite in beauty contests at home. Luckily for her, she turned out to be a favourite with the judges here. They made a selection of seven girls from Denmark, Finland, France, Jamaica, New Zealand, Sweden and Britain. It was Miss Jamaica, Carol Joan Crawford, who was crowned by last year's winner. Miss New Zealand and Miss Finland, second and third, joined everyone else in congratulating the winner. Take 40 of the most beautiful girls in the world, then ask a panel of judges, including Billy Butlin, the Duke of Bedford and John Mills, to choose the most beautiful of them all. Miss France is a school teacher, never like this in my time. Sir Leary Constantine gets his eye in, Miss Nigeria gives him something to focus on. Miss United Kingdom, Diane Westbury from Ilkston in Derbyshire. This first part at London's Lyceum Ballroom certainly makes a colourful prelude to the more mathematical calculations of part two. 36, 23, 36 adds up in any language and that's Miss Germany's figure. One of her most memorable experiences was a visit to a gold mine, says Miss Israel. One day she may have one of her own. Miss South Africa works in a bank. Obviously it hurts less when she says you've got an overdraft. Liberia's first contestant for an international crown is Ethel Norman, a natural choice for a developing country. How would you like Miss Brazil, Vera Ferreira, to operate on you? She aims to be a surgeon. Another South American, Miss Colombia, sounds a jolly nice girl. Her ambition to help the home for poor children, which she founded herself. Good news for the home team, Miss United Kingdom was among the seven finalists. So was my favourite school teacher, Miss France. A girl who wants to be a housewife, and she shouldn't have any difficulty about that, is Miss Sweden. She took fifth place. Miss Denmark, who has often visited Britain, was placed fourth. The so-called cold countries can certainly hot things up. Peter Sellers wouldn't tell us anything, but could it be Miss New Zealand, a 19-year-old from Wellington? She's fond of athletics, but she wasn't able to beat Miss Jamaica. 20-year-old Carol Joan Crawford from Kingston, Jamaica, at 34, 22, 34, is Miss World for 1963. The crown, the trophy, 2,500 pounds and a screen test. International fame for a girl whose face and figure have become her fortune.